Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an email sequence and to send emails automatically um, using Salesforce. And this will trigger uh, one week before the seminar. It can be triggered one week before a date or one week after booking. So it could be triggered in different dates. So I'm going to show you how to do that so you can have an idea on how to do it yourself uh, if you have a custom process that you wanted to do. So um, in this example that I'm going to show you, so my client is um, using Salesforce for his seminar bookings for schools. So he wants to send an email one week before the seminar. So the first thing is uh, you need to have a custom date for the seminar. So right now on the opportunity that we have, uh, let me just show you how I set up the opportunity. So you can see here the new opportunity. So this is the opportunity name, account name, the stage, and all of the other requirements. Now this is the seminar date that I'm, I'm talking about. So uh, we want to send an email one week reminder before the seminar date for whatever it is. So the first thing that you wanted to do is to create that field. Um, to create that field, you would want to go to uh, field opportunity. It's actually a uh, opportunity, and then opportunity, and then the fields and the relationships. So you want to create an email which is a uh, a, a field which is a date. Right now, I've already did a uh, few fields that you can we can look at because this is the one that would be triggered. So this is the seminar date, and um, I'm just want to show you how I set it up. So this is the seminar date, uh, date type. So a date type. So once you have that um, seminar. Uh, that date field set up, then you can put it on the page layout one that I have, sorry. So you just want to make sure that th this is the seminar date where we have uh, what we have right now. So if you see that, if I move it further right here, so no, no, uh, maybe I'll put it, uh, on here, just for example. So I'm just going to save that. Once it's saved, you will see that if I'm going to create an opportunity, new opportunity, uh, post new opportunity, you will see that the date, um, probably I need to refresh. You will see that the date should be here. Oh, the one that I moved to the second date. So you get what I'm saying. So first is you need to create, I'm just going to put that back again, the second, uh, the field. So first you need to create a field that you want to use to trigger the date that you wanted to do, which is in this case, it's a seminar, it's an event. So it's event date, it's the one that I, edited so I'm going to move that back to the second day seminar so and see so now that we have an event date so um, just to review with just to recap so you need an event date field a new event date and field and then put it on your um, page layout now once that's done what we want to do is create an email template on this home, you're still on the setup, and then search for uh, classic emails or emails, whichever. So it's actually the classic email, and then create a template. So I'm going to use HTML using a classic header, uh, and then you can save it on whichever folder that you want, and then this the say I'm going to say that this email is a uh, for 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 call ed school, so call ed school one week 
before seminar, seminar date. So this email would be sent one week before the seminar. It will create a unique email template. And the classic header is a uh, no header. And the uh, uh, email layout, well, you can view this email layout here, whichever that you want. So I just want to a free form letter. Uh, so no and a free form letter. And this description would be sent. Email will be, uh, it's about a reminder email. Reminder email one week before the seminar. Yeah. And the subject is, um, see you next week, whatever you want. So see you next week. Next. And here is where this exciting part would do. So uh, you can see here at the top, uh, there's a available, so you can actually merge. So say um, on a contact fields, because this is based on opportunity. So you wanted to all create a, for the opportunity fields. So opportunity fields, and then create a contact, it's actually related, uh, Yes, here it is, contact person. So you can use this, uh, cop copy this field value here. So it will be, uh, say my name, Jill, see you next week. So you could actually customize it. So if you want it, you can actually create a, like if it's opportunity and then on the account name. So if it's the account name is the company, so say, um, see you next week on uh, uh, or you can say that uh, um, reminder, seminar, reminder for for the school account. So the, or for the company name. So seminar reminder for Leverdad company. So it, it could be like that. So you could play around with it with this one. So um, for now, I'm just going to say uh, contact. It's a contact person. So it will be, I just want the first name actually. Contact. Mm, contact. Probably I could use the contact fields and then the first name, just the first name. So it would be like Jell. It's not going to be Jell Manalisa, see you. So it's just the first name, see you, see you next week. So in here, then you can do whatever that you want. Hi, um, hi, Jell. Um, just imagine it's, it's Jell. So uh, this is just a quick reminder for your seminar in, if you want the opportunity accounts, let me see, opportunity fields, and then account name in the company name. On the seminar date, so seminar date on, uh, please uh, confirm that everything is set up uh, blah, blah, blah. So, um, kind regards. Uh, what is your name, Joe? Uh, so you can, now you can preview, uh, next when you, uh, to preview it, you can actually send a copy. Uh, you, for this one, you can, you can just copy the text version here and see. And for this one, you can send a preview, send test. So you can send test for um, my name, so gel is the one that I have for never that is the one that I have for testing. So I'm going to send this. And I'm just going to, if it will be sent, there it is. So gel, it's my name. 
and this is the uh, it went to the opportunity mean and uh, the date in here. So that's how you test your email. Now, if you're happy with it, uh, right now I'm just going to delete that because that's not really an email that I will do, but I'm going to uh, use a different email. Now, I should I should have not delete that because it's not the end of the sample, but I'm going to show you uh, how it is. So um, anyway, go to the um, alert. Then the next thing is after you have your email template, go. you need to create an email alert. Now these are the email alerts that we did. So say, um, and this one say, I'm going to show this as an example. So it will send an IT requirements. So this, it's just pretty easy. So you just need to create a description. Unique name would be just the same. And then search for the email. Say, Email alert for uh, IT requirements is, is this email template. And um, you can just put uh, the, the recipients here. So for the recipients, you can use the contacts. So go to the uh, email field, if it's in the email field, or on, because it's already on here to do six weeks times seven days, it might be, you might think that it's easier that you would do 42 days instead of hours. But the problem is, on my experience, is that Salesforce sends the email 42 days before the seminar and the count of 12 o'clock in the midnight. So it will be sent on 12 o'clock, which is not really a good time to send an email to your clients. So what I do is, is 42 hours plus 10 uh, plus 8 hours I think so what I do is 42 hours times 24 oh and then I will what why how did I come up with that I think what I did is 41 41 hours times 24 and then plus plus uh, 10 let me see why did I come up with 998 plus 94 plus 14 so it would be sent uh, and the problem is with Salesforce they have different time zones I see because of the time zone so I also computed the time zone too because the time zone in here is in is in uh, my client's time zone is in Australia and the time zone in Salesforce is US so I have to count that on the computation. So that's why it's an hour. So what they, what time you wanted to, to send them, uh, should be an hour, uh, which I recommend. So next is the t set a time for when you want to actually uh, execute it, and then this is the email. So you wanted to click the email alert. So that is why you need to create an email alert first before going to the project builder. And then once that's done, you can you can activate this. Uh, right now it's already activated. Uh, you can activate and then test if your criteria was working. So do a test first. Um, create an opportunity that would meet your requirements to whatever you have here. And that's it. Uh, I hope it helps. If you need help in setting up your Salesforce uh, and whatever that you would like to do with your, um, like with your website, any virtual assistant task, um, you can email me at gel at allinva.com and I'll be happy to help. If you have questions too about Salesforce that you want to learn that I could create a video, just comment in the uh, comments below. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, hope it helps again. Bye.